During a midweek service, after a powerful mass prayer, among those who fell under the power of the Holy Spirit is a young prophet by the name Blessing Dagada. Prophet Visizita prayed for this man. Whatever that is going to happen is similar as in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 17 when Elisha prayed for his servant Gehaz to see in the spirit realm. How are you? I'm fine, prophet. How are you? Where are you coming from? Mama Gwen. I'm coming from Venda. No, Venda? Venda? Yes. It's so your first time to be here? It's my first time today. It's no, so so your first time to be here? Yes, I just drove um, after work. Immediately after work, I drove to no, this drive place. Uh, you see, no, coming no, from no, Venda no. to attend the service. Clap your hands for you. Open my book. What? The reason why I'm here is because uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a young prophet in Venda. I, I know that. I know, that I know. I, I want to tell me why you were here. Yes. What did you saw there? What did you saw me? I How saw you in a dream. Uh, I'm going to rain. I saw you in a dream. Uh, first time when I saw you. Uh, okay, this past weekend I had a crusade in Venda. So so before crusade, the crusade, I, I switched on to God with, God with us. TV. So the first time I switched on, yeah, that still small voice spoke within my heart. I and and said to me, this is my servant. servant. And and from there, I, I had this desire to come here before the crusade. To, I don't know, but to receive the fire, the impartation. Uh, I had that desire. I called and then I spoke to someone over the phone. And then that person said, I must just come on a Sunday for just a service. I must just leave my ministry just for one Sunday and come and sit here. So I, I, I then stopped. I said, no, I no, no, no. So I had a crusade. Then then crusade. In this crusade, I saw so what I never seen before. The people from Jobek came to the crusade. And God was just manifesting himself. So, so this, this week, week, on Wednesday, no, no. I watched that channel. No, no, no. Ah, then I said, no, you, I saw you saying uh, you're inviting people to come on no, the 1st of September. Said, ah, okay. Okay. Maybe I will just have to go. No, but no, then no. I said, ah, it's okay, I will arrange. No, no, no. Then it was Thursday. No, no, no. Thursday, I, no, no, no. I took the numbers on the no, screen no, no. to register for receipts, and then I called Once just the because uh, the man of God passed on my, 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 something like my vena or something like that. Yeah, my vena. Then we spoke over the phone. No, no, no. But Thursday night, early no, no, no. morning of Thursday, Around four or five, he came to my dream. When he came in a dream, I was sitting like in the congregation. I was in your place. I was here. Yeah, I was, I was here. And then in that dream, you, you picked me up and then you were, I must come. And then he came to the altar. He said to me, you are going to have a very big congregation. All I saw was just your hand on me. Then I felt that. Then I called Pastor Ravenna and said, uh, I want to understand about uh, the first of September because I want to come. Something coming. Come in. Come in. Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Hey. Hey. Mm. My hands are burning. Yeah? My hands. Uh-huh. What's wrong with your hands? They are burning. Yeah? Yeah, he's, uh, he's burning. Yeah, he's burning. What is the water here? The prophet is burning. What is the water? Your hands is burning. Jai! Mm. Jesus! He said, help me. Who will help him? He said, help me. You know the helper? You know the helper? Eh? Call them to help you. Okay, fire stop. Fire stop. Fire, stop. Stop, fire. Okay, fire, stop. I don't think stop. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah? Yes. Hey! Hey! Fire! Everywhere. 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 Prophet. Prophet. Everywhere, prophet. Everywhere, prophet. Hey, hey, prophet. Everywhere. Where are you? You are. Huh? You are 
I'm multiplying. Eh? Eh? Anointing, leave him. Angels, leave him. You can see me now. Yeah, no, I can see you. Where, where's, the, where's the anointing? Where, where's the power, fire? I heard you said you were with the fire, you were burning. I'm just feeling this other presence. It's like a cloudy. So when you see me, what was happening? I saw you. You are there. You are there. You are just multiple. You just, <laughs> just multiply. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Jesus, mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your servant. Thank you, Jesus. Now I change his eyes. His eyes. It is not a human being eyes. It's the eyes of the angel. What you see now, we can't see what you see. Let him stand up. He can't see what you see. What you see, he can't see it. He will never see what you see. What you see? What you see? Look, look at the church and everything. Tell me what you see. <laughs> I'm seeing a I'm seeing, hey, hey. What, what, what do you see? Oh my God. At the entrance there. There at the entrance, I'm seeing angels holding each other like this. Standing like this. Mm. I'm seeing. Ah! T tell them, I changed your eyes. You're like an angel now. Tell, tell, tell them. But when I saw you now, just like this, I'm seeing a very big angel holding a trumpet, blowing it up. And I'm seeing... It's like I'm seeing a word, revival. 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 This angel is a giant. Giant. He's standing next to you at the back. Behind you is a giant angel holding a trumpet. And it's a banner that returned revival. 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 I'm seeing oil. Oh my God, what am I seeing? I'm seeing oil. This oil is dripping from this angel's mouth to your head. And it's coming, down to you. it's coming down to you, to your spirit. You see, I change his eyes. Now he see heaven. You see, he see what's happening in the spirit now. He don't see what you see. Look that side. What do you see? Inside. Angels there. Yeah? I'm seeing angels there. What's happening? They have a bow. There's a what? A bow. There's a bow. Like a bow. Where the altar is laid with a bow. Okay. This is I'm seeing it and I'm seeing envelopes inside. And it's a prayer request. And it is I'm seeing angels. Take a prayer request. Take a prayer request. The farm. Prayer request. They go. The farm. In that world, I'm seeing different kind of sicknesses, different kind of disease returned there. And I'm seeing each and every angel, one by one, taking every, every envelope, going with it, every envelope, going with it. It's like they're in a bowl. It's a golden bowl that is put there. I'm seeing it now. There. Lord, let him be normal. You know what I was doing here? I was doing what Elijah does. Done. Elijah, he said, God, open the eyes of this servant of mine. He must see what people do not see. So now, this is my Elisha. I was showing him what is in this church. Oh my God, we are not in the same page. My God, be normal, be normal, my son. Be normal, see normal again. In Jesus' name, you are anointed. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. Clap your hands for him. Oh, my name is Prophet Chifua Blessing, Tagada, and I'm from Venda.
I knew the prophet through um, God with us TV. That was when I I knew that there's a prophet in Palavora. So the first day I switched on, I just felt in my spirit that this is a prophet of God, and um, it's kind of a still small voice spoke to my heart that and confirmed to me that this is my servant. Then from there I started to um, find ways to come and visit uh, Salvation in Christ Ministries. Uh, wow, it was beyond my expectation. Uh, but what I uh, was expecting to receive from the Lord, I I have received it, and um, the service is powerful, so powerful. There is God in this church. There is the Holy Spirit, who is alive in this church, who is uh, changing our lives, uh, blessing our lives, delivering our lives, healing our lives, transforming our lives, and I can say with confidence that God has remembered uh, this area of Lipombo Province. When I met with the prophet, it was a strange encounter. The prophet was doing mass prayer. And rumors prayer, I felt um, strong uh, uh, presence of the Holy Spirit within my body and in my hands. My hands started burning. Um, it's like my hands were, were kind of like uh, burning with fire. Then from there, I started having involuntary movement on my hands. I couldn't control the, 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 the upper limbs of my body, neither my hands. From uh, my shoulders down to my, to, my, to my hands, I couldn't control the movement that was happening. So that was when I was uh, located by the Holy Ghost, and then I went to the front, and then, then the prophet met me on the prayer line. When, I, when the prophet touched me, it's just, uh, it is an experience which, is just, which I can't explain, but it's that thing whereby uh, it's like a, you know that he t someone touched you with a heavy hand, and that hand is not ordinary. So it was just an extraordinary hand. Uh, when it came upon me, I just, uh, all I saw was just a strange fire. That was falling on my head. Then, from moment of the moment that hand touched me, it's like fire started uh, burning from my head down to my feet, from my feet to my head, then to my hands. Oh yes, that very great experience. Uh, the prophet spoke a word of uh, when my spiritual eyes opened, and then he started to make me. I started to see through his grace and through the anointing upon his life. Uh, I was uh, permitted to see into the unseen realm. Then that's when I began to see strange things, which I, 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 I myself, it's rare for me to see such things, whereby I saw angels in the church. I saw a very big angel standing next to him, holding a trumpet, and this angel was uh, having a banner. The banner was written revival all around him. And then I saw angels from the entrance of the church. Then he commanded my eyes to see even further, and I even saw beyond the, the, the curtain of time, the altar. Uh, where there is uh, behind the curtain, and then I saw a gold in that altar, a very gold uh, 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 bowl. I saw a, a, a gold bowl around the altar, and in that in that bowl were envelopes that were prayer requests of sicknesses, of diseases, and of people's needs. Then I saw numerous angels around it. Each and every angel was taking the envelope, transporting it back to to to. Uh, I don't know, but. I, I saw it that it, it has been taken from this bowl to another strange place, one by one. Uh, all I can say is that God loves us. And the Bible says in the book of Timothy, Second Timothy chapter, from chapter number 3, it says that the Lord knows those who are his. I, I, I believe that uh, God has chosen me by the grace to be one of his chosen servants. Uh, as the man of God was preaching today, uh, service, he said that uh, we are chosen and we are qualified by the grace. We are the elects and the chosen one of God. So I believe that I'm one of those whom God has permitted and chosen in the generation to be able to be the, 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 the soldiers in the God's army. He is, uh, firstly, I want to say this. Um, we're living in a body of Christ, uh, whereby now God is raising up uh, a generation of prophets and apostles. God is busy not only focusing on those two offices, but all the other offices of the body of Christ. God is busy raising them up, and he is bringing uh, his body back to himself altogether. And by doing so, he ushers in uh, this kind of move, where he pours out his spirit on all flesh. And I just want to, to, to make people aware, especially pastors, we pastors, that we need to understand that uh, the level of grace and giftings in the body of Christ differs. We need to acknowledge each other, and we need to be united. Um, I am here as a visitor, I'm not here as a son, or I'm not here to submit or anything, but I'm here to visit, to share in, in, in the prophet's grace, to say I acknowledge what God has done in, 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 in raising a prophet in this uh, province, and I also want to be part of what God is doing. So I'm encouraging pastors to say, pastors, 
uh, our ministries need deliverance. We need deliverance also. It's not about being delivered from demons only. Or maybe when, you, when we talk about deliverance, it's not about demons. Sometimes deliverance is not about being delivered from a demon, but being delivered to go to another level in life. You need deliverance also for that. Maybe if, let's say, maybe you've reached a limit. You need someone with high anointing to deliver you from that level to another level. Not necessarily a demon to be delivered from you. So I would say to pastors, Please come to Palavura. Your life will not be the same again. What I experienced, I believe you also experienced it also because God is a God who does not show, uh, he says in his word, he's not a respect of person. What he does for someone, he can do for another one. So pastors all over the world, wherever you are, I, I, I am inviting you to say, come and partake in this grace. Let us show that uh, we are disciples of Jesus. For he said that if you truly are my disciples, then uh, you will love one another. So I'm encouraging people to say, come, let us share in the grace so we can go back and impact our ministries. And we'll be one in the body of Christ and we'll unite.